Hello guys. In this video we are going to talk about structural isomerism in alkenes. Remember that isomers are different compounds having the same molecular formula. Take C4H8. You might have several different compounds having these number of carbon atoms and this number of hydrogen atoms. So first of all you need to be sure about the type of the compound. So as you remember, the general formula of alkenes was CNH2N. And since the number of hydrogens is two times bigger than the number of carbon atoms in here, this compound most probably is an alkene. The first structure that you're going to draw for this compound could be a four carbon atom chain with a double bond between the first and second carbon atoms. Then you are going to have two hydrogens here, one hydrogen here, two of them here, and three of them here. Now, this compound is 1-butene. Now, for this compound, you can draw several different structural isomers. How can you do so? First thing, and the easiest thing that you can do, is to change the location of the double bond. You simply can shift the double bond from between the first and second carbon atoms to between second and third carbon atoms, like this. Then it's going to be CH3, CH, CH, CH3. Now, this one also does have four carbons and eight hydrogens. This is called 2-butene. Another structure that you can draw is with three carbon atoms. But this time, a fourth carbon atom is going to be a branch. It can be a branch in here. Then I can put my double bond, for example, in here. Then after, I add my hydrogens. This doesn't need any hydrogens because it already has four. It's going to be CH3. It's going to be CH3. Now, it's not butene anymore. It is propene. Why? Because we have one, two, three carbon atoms in the longest chain. However, on the second carbon atom, I do have a methyl group, so I call it 2-methylpropene. There is another possibility in here. You can have four carbon atoms, eight hydrogens, in a cycloalkane. If you remember, cycloalkanes do have the same general formula as alkenes. So it means that you can have one, two, three, four carbon atom in a ring structure. So then you can have two hydrogens here, two hydrogens here, two hydrogens here, and two hydrogens in here. If you count the number of carbons and hydrogens in all these four compounds, you're going to see that you do have four carbon atoms and eight hydrogen atoms. All these four compounds are structural isomers of one another. Now, if you would like to practice, you can try making some isomers of C5H10. Good luck!